Honorable Speaker, I present the budget for 2023-2024. The union budget for 2023-24 was presented in the parliament yesterday. It made several bold proposals in the field of environment and schemes such as Mishti, Amrit Dharohar and PM Pranam were the major conservation initiatives announced. But apart from all this, one initiative that stood out was the announcement of a new fleet of trains that would be powered by hydrogen. This major announcement was made by the Railways Minister Ashwini Vaishnav in the post-budget press conference yesterday. In this video, we take a look at this proposed hydrogen power trains that are slated to be manufactured and rolled soon. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India. Uh, December 2023, the hydrogen train will be made, which will be designed in India and Bharat. Mein manufactured. साथ ही साथ जितने हमारे हेरिटेज सर्किट्स हैं उन सब में पहले हाइड्रोजन ट्रेन को चलाया जाएगा द नेम ऑफ दिस न्यू फ्लीट विल बी वंदे मेट्रो ऑन द लाइंस ऑफ वंदे भारत एक्सप्रेस ट्रेन्स बट दे विल सर्व अ वेरी डिफरेंट पर्पस एंड विल केटर टू एन एंटायरली डिफरेंट ट्रैवलर बेस अकॉर्डिंग टू द इंफॉर्मेशन वंदे मेट्रो विल बी ऑफ एट कोचेस इट विल टेक केयर ऑफ मिडिल क्लास एंड द पुअर एंड द फोकस विल नॉट बी ऑन हाई एंड कस्टमर्स the Vande Metro, a mini version of the Vande Bharat Express trains, will be developed by the railways for people living around big cities to travel to and fro in comfort between their places of work and hometowns. The railway plans to manufacture these to replace its earlier fleet that were designed in 1950s and 1960s. The ultimate plan is to entirely supplant those old versions with the newer and more environment-friendly ones. The design and production of these trains will be completed by the end of this year and in the next financial year a ramp up of production at a large scale has been planned and as far as the designing is concerned these will be completely designed indigenously as mentioned in the beginning these will be hydrogen trains and as the name suggests these will be powered by hydrogen rather than electricity or diesel hydrogen trains are those that use hydrogen fuel cells rather than traditional diesel engines the hydrogen fuel cells produce electricity by converting hydrogen and oxygen which is then used to power the train's motors. The fact that hydrogen trains do not emit harmful pollutants such as carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides or particulate matter make them a more environmentally friendly option than traditional diesel trains. Another benefit is that hydrogen can be produced using energy sources such as wind, solar or hydropower making the fuel supply for these trains clean and renewable. But at this stage, there are certain limitations to this in India. The high cost of hydrogen trains is a major impediment to their widespread use all across the world. This technology is still in its nascent stage, so there are cost-related issues and safety issues. Green hydrogen, that is hydrogen that is produced using renewable energy, costs about 492 rupees per kg in India, according to the research and ratings agency ICRA. As a result, the operating cost of a fuel cell-based hydrogen engine will be 27% higher than that of a traditional diesel engine. Then, there will also be the added cost of fuel cells and storage. So, it might take a while to make its use more prevalent and cost-efficient. And is India the first country in the world to embark on the journey of hydrogen trains or do such trains already exist anywhere? The answer is this. Such trains already operate in a few other nations. In August last year, Germany became the first nation in the entire world to roll out such hydrogen trains. Germany had launched a fleet of 14 hydrogen power trains that were manufactured by the French company Alstom. And last month, China had launched the world's second and Asia's first hydrogen-based train. With this announcement, Indian Railways is moving towards a greener direction that will help in reducing its carbon footprint, ultimately leading to fulfillment of its commitment towards the Sustainable Development Goals. We hope you would like this new video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.